Stop the George Floyd riots. What's up guys, my name is Panda and today I'm going to give you guys a more insightful and complex analysis of this whole George Floyd Black Lives Matter movement and all these riots that's going on. If you guys are new to the channel and you found what I said insightful, make sure to subscribe to the channel at the end of the video. What's up guys, if you guys are here, you guys probably already know about the whole George Floyd riots happening. Um, actually, I think the whole world probably already knows what's going on with that. It started in Minneapolis, and then now it's already perpetuating to LA, where I am right now. So I wanna give you guys a more thought out and complex insight that you guys are probably not even gonna see in the news where they're giving all this general bull crap. Okay, first I wanna start by saying, Derek Chauvin, the guy that was involved with the killing of George Floyd, has already been arrested. You could just do a Google search on this and you'll find so many news articles. He was arrested four days after the event happened. The event happened May 25th and he got arrested May 29th. Um, so you can see LA Times, they have their article. You can see Star Tribune. Derek Chauvin, 44, was arrested late Friday morning and charged with third degree murder. And then CBS Minnesota. So why the hell are the riots still happening? The riots happened, first of all, the riots started happening and the protests started happening because George Floyd died. And then he died for an unreasonable cause. He got murdered pretty much, right? So people wanted to protest and start these riots for Black Lives Matter. They wanted to promote this whole Black Lives movement and to also get justice for George Floyd. That was, those were the primary reasons. But if you're starting to go on, this, like still continuing riots when Derek Chauvin's already in custody, that's pretty unreasonable. There, there's pretty much no point to keep continuing these riots. All right, another crucial thing that's happening right now is small businesses. So yesterday, on Sunday, May 31st, I received an Amber Alert, emergency alert actually, saying the county of LA is declaring that a curfew will be in place from 6 p.m. tonight to 6 a.m. tomorrow for all of Los Angeles County, including all the cities, blah, blah, blah. You guys could read the rest. You guys could pause it, read the rest. And then I thought, okay, yeah, it's fine. Maybe like businesses are still open because it does say traveling to and from work. So I went ahead and I went on Postmates and then I tried to order food um, from Pokey Island. And then after I checked out everything, um, two minutes after I received the message saying, item unavailable, choose substitute or remove item for both of my items that I ordered. And then like, I thought that was weird because it was fine when I checked out. And then I called them to see what was going on. When I called them, I asked if they were open, and then they said, no, we're closed. And I said, well, your closing time is 9 p.m. And I was like, are you guys closing early because of the curfew? And they're like, yeah. And then I told my friend this, and then we kind of hypothesized, holy shit, all of these small businesses are closing earlier than usual now. Like, already, COVID-19 has already affected these businesses so much, but, now they have to close earlier. They've already gotten affected where they have less business, but now they have to close earlier. So that now they have like very little business that they could siphon off of. Look, at this rate, small businesses are all gonna start fucking dwindling. Like, can you imagine if you already have a handicap from COVID-19 and then this shit happens, like these riots, and they still continue to happen when Derek Chauvin is already locked up? What the hell is the point of this riot for then? You're just affecting multiple people who aren't even saying shit, right? Like all the stuff you see on news is all about this riot, um, people getting hurt, um, the whole George Floyd news, but no one's really talking about how much small businesses are getting affected, right? The other thing is the day before yesterday, Saturday, right? The city of LA was actually, they had a curfew already. And then it expanded to the county of LA yesterday on Sunday. Even on Saturday, I tried placing an order at a Mexican restaurant and they said that there was no drivers available because there was already a curfew that was instated upon the city of LA. So there's that's already two days 
where Postmates, Uber Eats, DoorDash, wherever the fuck, is affected. And in turn, this affects these small businesses. Do you see where I'm getting at? Let me explain it to you. People are already scared to go out because of COVID-19. And that's why they're ordering on these delivery apps. But if there's no delivery apps available to these customers, then businesses aren't going to have these customers. The third reason why we should stop these riots is because it's not even black people who are doing the riots mostly. It's mostly white people and I think other races. From what my friend told me, it's mostly white people. But what I've been seeing in these videos are mostly white, Mexican, or other races that aren't really black. Maybe it's like a mix of everything, but a majority is not really black. I haven't even looked into this news yet, but look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type it in right now and watch, it'll come up. Majority of looters are white. Right there, that's the first search term. Oh, another thing is, my friend also sent me, YouTuber Jake Paul was caught looting. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Minnesota officials link arrested looters to white supremacist groups. Like, this is the first one that pops up. But look, all of these are about white people. So look, most black people and Black Lives Matter groups, they want to peacefully protest. They're not trying to promote this outrage of looting and rioting and all this bullcrap. But they're actually pissed off about this shit happening because they're getting blamed for it. And that's why you guys need to stop these fucking riots because it's backfiring on black people on Black Lives Matter movement. Okay, let's get to the most profound and deep topic that I really wanted to get into and what this video is mostly about. If you guys are very interested in this case, make sure you guys stay through and watch this whole rest of the part and make sure you guys listen closely. Okay, I want you guys, after you guys finish watching this video, watch this video by Nas Daily. It's basically, he talks about how COVID-19 may kill democracy. Basically, this whole thing about COVID-19, it's making people overlook other topics and have less attention on other topics because they're so focused on COVID-19 that other outcomes don't really matter too much. And how this ties into the riots is that because of this riot, now COVID-19 doesn't have that much attention. Now people are going to these fucking riots and protests, not even covered not even protected they're not staying protected they're not they're not worrying about their health and what does that mean they're more prone to getting sick right but i believe that because of covid-19 these protests are getting out of hand because attention is getting taken off of societal constructs meaning there's not much of a social structure in democracy anymore or us for that matter and people are going to start not caring and it becomes kind of like anarchy People are going to start looting. People are going to start rioting. Kind of like what's going on right now, right? And then just spreading like wildfire from Minneapolis all the way to LA to where I am right now. I mean, starting from COVID-19, it had a ripple effect on this whole riot and George Floyd thing. Because I don't think any situation related to Black Lives Matter where a black man or a black person was murdered by a cop. It got this out of hand. I mean, some could say that no black person has ever gotten this evidently murdered by a cop. But I don't think it's a coincidence because this whole COVID-19 situation is having a supplemental effect on how people are reacting and how people's behaviors are during this protest. This protest, which should have been very peaceful, started to become the most craziest riot I've ever seen regarding Black Lives Matter. I mean, it spread from Minneapolis to LA. I don't think that that rarely happens. I think it happened like once or twice before, but this is like, this is the biggest. Like you see fires, you see like in videos, you see fires, you see like National Guard um, shooting rubber bullets at almost everyone. You, you sometimes just see it like once in a while, like people getting shot at by rubber bullets. A couple people getting shot at by rubber bullets. But this is like a ton of people getting shot at by rubber bullets, a ton of people just scared at these riots. Even the looters and rioters are scared because of the National Guard. 
but that's because their behavior is just uncanny. It's just something that's influenced on unreasonable behavior, which stems from the whole COVID-19 thing. Final remarks, I just wanna tell you guys, you guys should just stay safe, honestly. This protest went all the way to a city near where I live, a really small city that no one knows exists. And I was thinking about going to this protest, but then I started realizing, whoa, even myself, I'm affected by this whole attention, this whole loss of attention of COVID-19. All of our attention right now is focused on this riot, that this whole COVID-19 dilemma is something that we began to forgot. And I was thinking, fuck that, I'm not gonna go to that protest. Before anyone says anything about you're not supportive of Black Lives Matter or you're not supportive of George Floyd, I just wanna let you know that there's still this coronavirus shit going on. I'm not going because I'm not trying to get coronavirus and get my family and my grandma fucking sick. I care, but I have fucking asthma. I'm not trying to fucking die. Remember, your own health is more important than other causes. Unless you're willing to die for that cause, then go ahead and go out. But right now, this whole riot that's going on, I really don't think it's reasonable and it's helping anyone whatsoever. Just to recap, Businesses are getting affected. The officer that killed George Floyd is already in the process of getting justice. And you might not even make a difference. You might just make yourself look like a dumbass by going to this riot, trying to loot shit, or trying to protest even, holding up a sign peacefully. But an officer might mistake you for being a violent protester or rioter and might shoot you in the face with a fucking rubber bullet. And that shit hurts like hell. You should go look it up. There's a bunch of shit that's circulating around the web. People getting hit by rubber bullets. It's fucking implodes their face. You're gonna have a scar. Before people say, yo Panda, you don't have any balls. You're not trying to go to these riots because you're a fucking coward. No, bitch. Look at my fucking channel. I have the biggest fucking balls. But there's a fucking difference between having balls and just being fucking plain stupid. Anyways, guys, I think that's all I wanted to cover. If there's anything else that you guys could think about that's more in depth and something that's not in the news and by people on Twitter, whatnot, that's so general, make sure to comment down below what your thoughts are, people that are being affected, how these riots are going to still affect people negatively if they continue to happen. And make sure if you guys thought this video was very insightful, Make sure you guys subscribe because I am trying to do more talks like this, more serious talks because my channel right now is more about funny videos and I want to have more of a serious side to me. So if you guys want to see more of that, make sure to subscribe below to Legend Panda TV and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. This whole riot shit is stupid as fuck.